Hi, I'm Bob the Bug Guy. I'm going out to a property right now to inspect for a mound that's in the front yard of a house. This could be number one, gopher mound, number two, possibly imported fire ants. So let's go take a look. Well, it's pretty evident where the mound is. It's right here in the front. And if you get a close-up of this, you can see that there's little holes coming out of the mound. And you can see the worker ants coming out. So watch closely, it's obviously not gophers. Watch as I take my heel and hit the mound. And let's watch the activity. And you can see all the workers. What I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a container and put it on there. Let me get one. Imagine this is a imagine this is a child at the park. Imagine this is a child at the park. Okay? And they just stepped into this mound. And within seconds, they will have ants climbing up their legs. And these ants, what they do, people will generally ask, do imported fire ants bite? Well, what they do is they first they bite and then they sting you they clamp onto you and then they sting you. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna treat this mound individually. Some ways of treating this mound is with a granular product or with a bait, all right? But a chemical application of the right chemical will treat this mound successfully. Some homeowners will use gasoline. They'll also use grits. Yeah, that's right, I said grits. The thought process is that the grits, the ants can consume the grits and they'll bloat out and uh, it will eradicate the ants. Well, ants will only eat liquid formulations, so that won't work. So let's take, uh, let's go over here and get a uh, application of uh, chemical. What I'm doing here is I'm going to saturate the mound. And the way you do this is by sticking your wand deep down into the mound and injecting your chemical. The more ants that you can hit with the chemical, the more effective it's going to be. Chemical kind of works like the SARS virus. The more ants that are corrupted, the faster re the results. This ant mound's been here a long time. So as a result, you could have up to 200,000 if it's a single queen worker ants. If you have multiple queens, you could have 200,000 and up of worker ants. These ants can go down three to four feet. So this is not something that a homeowner can er successfully uh, eradicate. This is the time to call a professional, a licensed exterminator, to eradicate your problem. And as you can see, it takes quite a bit of chemical, and it takes a probe going into the ground, saturating the mound. If you do not kill the queen, you will not eradicate the anthill. Homeowners will try to stop ants like this by treating the ants that they see trailing along the sidewalk. But what they don't realize is that they're treating only 3% of the actual ant population. The rest of the ants are in the mound. As you can see, I've saturated that pretty well. 
the homeowner will be instructed by me not to leave their sprinklers on for 24 hours. That way my chemical sits there, it corrupts the ants, and the, the uh, desired result will be met within 28, 24 to 48 hours. Out here in the desert, we get a lot of imported fire ants. And uh, it is a danger to children, pets, and uh, anybody who's exposed to them, who walks on them, and is not aware that they're walking on an imported fire ant nest consisting of 100,000 ants. Well, I think that should do it. So, anytime you have a problem with ants, you can call your pest professional. If you're in the uh, Palm Desert, Indian Wells uh, area, you can call Bob the Bug Guy.